Uh, Richard Brewer, uh, our vessel is the Atlas, which is behind us. I've been fishing here since um, leaving school and b before that. Been fishing from Whitby since um, uh, 1970, the start of the 70s. We used to be, um, in my era, uh, a really good uh, whitefish port, catching plenty of whitefish, sea net, trawl. Uh, that has um, more or less finished now due to uh, partly government problems, uh, EU massive problems and um, I, I will admit slightly overfishing. Well Whitby has morphed into um, uh, a really good shellfish port now. The lads that were in the, the whitefish ports have invested in in um, the, the potting vessels, um, working quite a lot of gear, crabs and, and lobsters, and that stock now needs to be sustainable in some shape or form. So any help in, in, in that sector would be more than welcome, whether it, whether it comes through management or conservation or what, I don't know, but um, the stocks must not be over exploited like the whitefish stocks were. Oh, fisherman, fisherman, standing by the sea. Have you a crab fish that you can sell to me? By the way, side I diddly die do. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, that indeed I do. I've got a crab fish that I can sell to you. By the way, side I diddly die do. By the way, side I diddly die do. The Yorkshire Lobster Hatchery is looking to protect and promote our rich fishing heritage. Working with the community and local architects, we aim to rejuvenate and revolutionise Whitby's bustling Pier Road. By modernising and regenerating the old fish auction shed, we hope to deliver on three key core values. Firstly, Utilising an innovative and state-of-the-art lobster hatchery system supplied by Aquahive, we will deliver on our first key value, conservation. By releasing up to 100,000 juvenile lobsters a year, we will conserve the lobster populations around Whitby. In turn, this will conserve and protect our fishing heritage and the livelihoods of the Whitby fishing fleet. We aim to collaborate with the fishing fleet to collect lobsters bearing eggs. These are then developed in the hatchery before release. This dramatically increases juvenile survival rate, protecting the lobster fishery for generations to come. Our second key value is education. Through an interactive, interesting and educational exhibition, featuring native species and information boards on Whitby's fishing history. We hope to inspire the public to have a greater connection with the rich marine diversity we have here in the UK. Offering a space and workshop for school groups and an outreach programme, we will connect with as many people as possible. Finally, we aim to work with other national and international hatcheries, universities and research facilities to deliver novel scientific research improving our understanding of this valuable species. The hatchery facility will offer research opportunities for scientific students and researchers right here in Whitby. Been a skipper for the last five years from on my own boat, and then been skip, uh, been fishing on and off most of my life. Uh, a bit of a family family thing. Uh, me and me and two two crew, lobsters, crabs. That's our that's our living. If there's no crabs and lobsters, then you know we aren't we aren't getting paid. And, we're not going to be at pay bills, so it's very important to us. Um, 
obviously as you can see there's not a lot left in Arbor. Um, there's no no keel boats. It's just it's just uh, crabs and lobsters now, Pro, uh, potting boats. So we have to protect what we've got what we've got left of uh, of our heritage and lifestyle. Otherwise, there's nothing left in Whitby really. Obviously, we've had the v in lobsters. Now we've got, um, we're not allowed to land buried lobsters. Um, be nice to have a hatchery on the quay. Um, anything really to protect, protect what we've got. Um, it's not, it's, uh, once you take it away from me, it's gone, isn't it? So you have to try and put something back into the industry to, you know, to get something back as well, don't you?